Do I have other yeah. questions? <sighs> Tell me more about Dun... Dunreed Row. All the things there are to know in this world, and you ask me about work. Deerwood is a rebel country. Conflict is in its blood. If you think a few guards posted in our cities keep chaos at bay, you are very new to town indeed. We are Deerwood's cipher investigators, of course. But what we really are is its last barrier against anarchy. People are more at ease when they believe they are watched over by someone more enlightened than they are. It pacifies them. So that is the image we foster. And we do try to be enlightened for their sake. The knowledge we gather here is Deerwood's standing army in many ways. We learn what's vital and we act on it while Deerwood sleeps, blissfully unaware of the terrifying truths all around them. I wish I could tell people the things I know sometimes, but the truth is I don't think many of them could bear it. How did you come to be here? Me? I started this place in a different time under a different duke. I impressed the duke with my research and my work ethic, and he became possessed of the notion that I would be ideal to lead a secret network of gifted investigators. I don't know how such an idea got into his head. She winks. <laughs> Uh, how old are you? She gives a half-hearted gasp and covers her mouth with her fingers. You wicked woman, where are your manners? Were you raised without a shred of decency? I lost count ages ago. Such a strange thing to celebrate, getting closer to death. She drops the facade. Oh, I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. I don't get that reference. There was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. I must have gone soft with age. Are you psychic? If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. A tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them, they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. You said you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Who said I was talented? I don't. At least not that I can trust. And with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. What's that? A quiet day at home. Hmm. Uh, is there a Lord Webb? There was. What happened to him? He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. We saw the world very differently, he and I. But he was good to me while he lasted. Let's talk about something else. I have other yes. questions. Let's talk about something else. Try your best Farewell. not to die out there. Sure. All right. Well, she didn't seem to care about me taking her stuff, so she must know that it's a okay. Okay, do we go to first fires or do we go to Andra's gift? 
So these three were the quests for uh, the missing people. And let's do this row. So first fire as it is. Minted caribou milk would hit the spot right now. We are here. We can go to the Ducal Palace, the Temple of Wodica, Andre's Gift, or the Valiant Embassy, or let's see, Copper Lane or Heritage Hill. Well, oh, oh, or we can go to the Crucible Keep. Sure. Hey, we're supposed to do something with the, the knights here, right? I think so. Nice little quick save before we do anything dumb. What business brings you to the keep? Hail and well met. Almar gives you an appraising eye. Judging by the scars on his face, he's lucky to be able to do that much. Every day we get more from the hinterlands pouring into Defiance Bay. Keeps us busy on the watch, it does. It looks like you're recently arrived yourself. Uh, who are you? A soldier of the Crucible Knights. I'm proud of it. I help keep everything running at the keep so that the Commander Cliver can focus on more important matters. Looking for something? Or just knocking the dirt off your boots? What goes on in Crucible Keep? This is the headquarters of the Crucible Knights, so it's where we store arms and armor as well as where many of our soldiers bunk. Commander Cliver is in the back making plans as usual. He scratches a scarred cheek. You'll find the forge at the west end of the building, along with our master smith, Dunstan. There's also a shrine to the golem, if you're the praying type. Tell me about the Crucible Knights. We're the defenders of Defiance Bay. We're not exactly a formal knighthood, but don't tell Commander Cliver I said that, he grins. We were the first organized militia to oppose Adiran rule, and today we're the largest force in the city. Our soldiers undergo years of combat training, and our officers are required to have their souls read by that critter down or out in Dunreed Row. What's this about Dunreed Row? Just a requirement of the, of the Crucible Knights, so the higher-ups know there's nothing messy built in your soul's past. Aldmar widens his stance. Keeping the ranks pure is fine by me. I just wish they were more careful in hiring their ciphers. What's wrong with their ciphers? He shifts his weight and glances at the empty halls. Mm, they're mostly Orlans. I'm sure they're talented enough, but you just can't trust them. Hostility's in their nature, and they've learned to hide it over the years. He frowns and crosses his arms. All I'm saying is they should at least be supervised by other folk. That's reasonable enough, isn't it? Uh, if people treated them better, you wouldn't have to worry about them being so hostile. Aldmar shrugs. I'm just speaking the truth. Nowadays, it seems that's the biggest crime of all. Ah. Uh, some Justicars. Novitiate. Alright, Willa. The Justiciar... I'm just going to say Justicar. The Justicar's gaze flicks over you briefly before returning to the Novitiates gathering in the training area. This is about patrols. My Novitiates are, are already stretched to their limit. Between the refugee influx and the mess at Heritage Hall, I simply don't have units to spare. After a pause, she looks over, you, over at you again. I'm sorry, was there something you need? Uh, is there something wrong at Heritage Hill? She lowers her voice. What isn't wrong is the real question. Er, sure. A whole district of walking, flesh-eating corpses. We sealed the area two months ago, uh, just after I lost one of my finest commanders there. And yet this is the second guard rotation to disappear. There are already enough rumors about the place floating around the keep uh, without my soldiers whispering about these disappearances. She shakes her head. 
I'd just as soon abandon the district, but if those monsters should find a way out, mm, I could help. She steps back and regards you. After what I just told you, you want to go in Heritage Hill? I've lost trained soldiers there. Why should I let you in? Uh, your trained knights have nothing on me. <laughs> double? Like double? Weird. Um, it just seems, it just seems like you could use the help. If you're so eager to rush to your death, I won't stop you. She quietly looks on at the novitiates. And if you're somehow able to put a stop to this, you've got my permission to enter Heritage Hill. I'll send word to the guards at, at the gate. So what do you do? I'm in charge of the novitiates. I'm responsible for their training and patrol assignments. They're good soldiers. And they've been quick to adapt to new challenges. All right, take care. Oops. Um, wow, lots of stuff. So we'll do that, I guess. Is this ceiling? Nope. Gimme, gimme. Uh take from the altar a supplicant has arrived from the guild of air seeking to or an escort um if ignored the my reputation can okay so yeah we'll send an escort sure ah, we just don't have the manpower uh, is that stealing how about that? That's not. That is, though. Why? This edict calls for the arrest of Eorn, whose recent actions have led to the death of an item. Uh, uh, okay. Um, boop. What is it? Uh, don't mind me. Just, um. Out. It's finished. Oh, thank God it's awful. I'll see it done. Nope, utter crap. And you are utter crap. Okay. Eh? All right, let's talk to Commander Cliver. She's from every corner of the Deerwood. The dozens getting them all riled up about animancy. At this rate, we'll need twice the soldiers to patrol Defiance Bay. Yes? Can I help you with something? I just remembered something. Sound, music, we'll drop it to like... 85? That seems safe. Save again. Oh wait, but that was already... It. Okay. Uh... Mm, you don't have enough soldiers? Uh, Fleet Breaker Castle. The High Justice has summoned almost half of my novitiates and more of my justiciars to a keep on the other side of New Haomar. It's not for me to question the High Justice's orders, but it's left us shorthanded. And mark me, we're just a couple sparks away from anarchy. Uh, is there any way I can help? I know how to handle myself. He gives you a thin smile. Always refreshing to meet someone who'd rather fix a problem than complain about it. Forge Master Dunstan is working with an animancy scholar to build what they're calling Forge Knights. Warriors that can patrol our streets without suffering fatigue, obe disobedience, or fear. Some agitator throws a rock at them, we don't have to worry about things getting out of hand. He's constructed the armor, but we need the scholar's research. Unfortunately, she hasn't been around the last few times. My novitiates have checked. Viana lives with the rest of the Scriveners out in Copper Lane. But I have the soldiers to spare at the moment. Go to the Scrivener's dormitory and see if you can find her. When you get the research, just bring it to Dunstan. This is his area of expertise anyway. Once you've brought him the research, he can sell you any arms or armor if you have need. He forges and repairs all of our equipment. You won't find a more capable smith in Defiance Bay. Huzzah. So you're in charge? Here in Defiance Bay, anyhow. The High Justice is the leader of our order, but he's currently stationed at Fleet Breaker Castle. 